Hey, it's Mike with TopDaddies.com and today we're visiting our friends at Cal Tire to find out about three dangerous winter tire myths as well as what that seven degree switch is all about. So this is Jeff and Amber from Cal Tire. It's nice to meet you guys. Good to see you, Mike. Hello. So Jeff, you uh, work here at Cal Tire. What is it that you do? Well, I've been a tire expert with the company for just about 20 years now. Perfect. And Amber, you know just a little bit about driving. Uh, for those uh, that don't know who you are, uh, what is it that you do? Yeah, I'm a professional race car driver in the NASCAR series, um, but from Canada. Perfect. All right, so there are uh, dangerous winter tire myths. What is that all about? Right, so uh, one of the myths that we're looking at right now is sort of when to put the tire, which tires on. Uh, the seven degree mark on the thermometer is really when you want to start thinking about and if not start thinking about actually make the switch over to your winter tires just because we know that the all season tires don't stay soft at temperatures below seven degrees celsius and your traction is going to go away at that temperature so that's when you need to make that switch all season doesn't count for canada all season counts for california counts for Florida. Lots of cars down there, but those drivers... Even on the West Coast? Exactly, right? <laughs> but those drivers don't have to experience the potential and the actual conditions, snow and ice, that we do in Canada. So we've kind of renamed them three season tires because it's more an accurate depiction of what they actually are in Canada. Now, Amber, you're also from Winnipeg, right? Yes. And so you're, you know all, not, not just with the racing, but you know all about the differences between the, the winter and the, the all-season tires as well. Absolutely, especially in the prairies, but really all over across Canada, we see a lot of different temperatures, a lot of different degrees um, in, in weather conditions. And I really relate that to how it is on the racetrack. You know, we have a lot of different racing conditions on the racetrack, whether it be on dirt to pavement, and we have different tires for different conditions. We want to treat our passenger vehicles the same way, right? We want to make sure we have the uh, summer tire or all season tires on in the summer but then when it gets below seven degrees make that switch to the winter tires so that we have the proper traction underneath us and there's a significant di uh, difference between those all seasons and the winters in terms of the rubber uh, uh, it's a much softer isn't it yes it's a very different compound at seven degrees the all season tires are three season as we like to call them they really get hardened almost like a hockey puck so the grip just isn't there anymore that's why we want to switch over to the winter tires because uh, they're a lot more grippier or what I like to say traction um, because they're just a softer compound. They also have a nice groove, groove siphoning and the uh, tire tread is different as well. Now there are some other myths. What, what else uh, is there? <laughs> so another myth is talks about the actual uh, information that's on the sidewall of the tire. So a lot of tires will have the letters M plus S on the sidewall, which is supposed to stand for mud and snow. We know from testing that it doesn't actually get you any further in the snow. Um, the only standard is the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake. You need to see that emblem on the sidewall of the tire to ensure that you're going to get that performance at seven degrees and below. Okay, and uh, the last myth that you have. Okay, so the myth is that I've got all wheel drive or four wheel drive on my vehicle. I don't need winter tires. Well, the problem with that is all wheel drive, four wheel drive only helps you if you're connected to the road. The only thing connecting the car to the road is gonna be those four patches of rubber underneath and those, uh, those need to be the correct tires, otherwise you're going to slip. Once the vehicle and the tires are slipping, the four-wheel drive, the all-wheel drive just doesn't help you. Yeah. Um, much like what Amber can uh, say with respect to driving skill. I mean, I think a lot of people think, well, I'm a good driver, I don't need winter tires. Well, I'm a professional race car driver, but I even know that my skill kit set can only get me so far when it comes to driving in the winter. You need the traction underneath you. The four-wheel drive might help you get unstuck, but it's not going to help you um, stop at an intersection or, or through cornering. So uh, it's really important to have those winter tires on to be able to give you the traction that you need because that's what's going to be touching the surface of the ground. So it's not snowing quite yet here. Uh, should we be worried about putting on the, t on the tires right now? Well, it's not about the snow. It's about the temperature. So seven degrees is the industry benchmark. It's not a specific to any one manufacturer or one tire dealer, but the industry uses that as a reference point because the industry knows that tires are not all designed equally. and winter tires will maintain their pliability at temperatures below seven degrees celsius all season or three season tires they get hard the traction goes away at that temperature so as much as we like to think of snow and ice um, seven degrees is a great place because it's the industry standard plus once you hit seven degrees at this time of year as it's getting colder we know that the potential for snow is there and if you act on the temperature and not necessarily wait for snow then your tires are on in place when that snow does come so it really makes a lot of sense to go and seven degrees. Just to add to what Jeff is saying is it really all comes down to safety. I don't hop in my race car without putting on helmet and doing up my belts just as you would 
get in your normal car without putting on a seatbelt, we want to be treating the tires the same way. So putting those winter tires on but before 7 degrees is really safety precaution. Well, Amber and Jeff, thank you so much for all that wonderful information. Uh, if people wanted more info, where could they go? Caltire.com is a great resource. It's got a lot of information on the 7 degree switch, other educational stuff on there as well, so check it out. Perfect. So there you go. If you need more info, check out Caltire.com, and don't forget to follow Top Daddies on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time.